Vale gave the Ring of the Holy Knight to the Divine Dragon. Apologies, my lord. The Ring of Azure Twins lost as well. Twice my four hounds failed me. You do understand the gravity of all this? Yes. And Vale? Still in a deep slumber. No matter how much I amplify her draconic impulses, she won't awaken. She refuses her true nature. In that case, take this. Uh, what is it? An enchanted helmet. It will strengthen the spell you cast on her. My power with your spell will correct what is wrong with Vale. I see. Keep it safe. Use it when the time is right. Of course. As you will it. There is... something else I would like to discuss. What? Pardon me, Lord Sombron, but... Lady Vale is your only child, correct? My only living child? Yes. That is correct. Of course. I was speaking from fear, not fact. Forgive me. Why ask such a thing? Vale believes one of her siblings is alive. I thought it best to raise with you. She spoke of an unbroken dragonstone. Hmm. But she must be mistaken. We both know the truth. Your children were killed in the war a thousand years ago, all but Vale. I remember one who stood above the rest, with hair and eyes like fire. What was the name again? Something like... Zephyr. My lord. I do not remember all my children's names or faces. But that one I killed myself. Yes. Moments later, I was imprisoned. Did you collect the body? I... I did not. Then I rescind what I said. <laughs> the answer is no. And if you find that offspring, bring me a corpse this time. Yes, Lord Sombron. As you wish. Thanks for arranging this ship for us, Alfred. Thank my mother, not me. When I said we were headed to Elusia, she got one of the fleet's finest lined up. How was everything at the capital? Well enough. There haven't been any attacks since we left for Brodia. What a relief. I told mother what the other side's been up to. How they're after sovereign blood. She was shocked, of course, to hear about King Morian and King Hyacinth. Understandably so. As for the destruction at Flora Port, the royal family will spare no expense on aid though it may be years before the harbor is returned to its original beauty. We must defeat the Fell Dragon so that such horrors never happen again. What's our plan? When we arrive, do we head straight for Illusia Castle? First, we should try to learn what we can from the Illusian people. Rings or no rings, if we don't know what we're up against, we could lose everything. Besides, there's something I need to find out. And what's that? Whether Vale is alright. Hmm. From our vantage, the Hounds certainly didn't seem pleased. They may attempt to erase her personality. If anyone can do it, that woman can. I know Vale killed my mother. Nothing we've learned changes that. But I can't help but worry about her. I hope she's not hurt. Yes. I suppose she's a victim in this too. And she did risk her neck to give us the ring. Or it was all an act and she's just gaining our trust to stab us in the back. Again. That's worth considering. We don't know enough to rule anything out. Still, I want to trust her. Divine One, excuse me. Two ships flying Illusion colors approach from ahead. Any sign of the hounds? None. However, it appears the enemy intends to attack us. Then we've got no choice but to fight them on the water. Prepare for battle, everyone!
We're fighting on two fronts. Good news is, the ship's got flame cannons that'll set fires and slow down the enemy. Be careful, though. Wouldn't want our allies to get caught in the blaze. <sighs> Since the King's death, my country has become something unrecognizable. Elusia's armies serve Elusia no longer, but the Hounds. Is this truly what I meant to do? Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> Ready for me? My will is firm. Your orders, please. I can fight. Sorry. 
fall here. I'm sorry, Divine One. It would be rash to press on. I must retreat. eventually wilt. eventually will. <laughs> They're nice and distracted. Don't mind me, Chunks. I'm just here for the treasure. Eyes later. Sure, okay. I'm sorry. Change the future into hope. A 
allow me. I will protect you. Never fail. A satisfying ending. not end here. I hate to leave you, but I must withdraw. Like, oh, pardon, but I must bow out, else I fear my eyes might close forever. Life was more than enough. My love, I am on my way. Huh? 
All right. No escape for you. Talk about a good time. Just a scratch. For Brodia. I'm still alive? Huh. Give me strength. Me first! 
laughable. Yes! <laughs> Just meditating. a good time. Go first. That's how a princess does it. My orders. You will not survive this battle.
I will never fail. I won't forget this. No choice but to win. My turn? Here we go! <laughs> Nothing short of victory! <sighs> Illusia is in sight. So... I've returned. Are you all right? Whatever has become of Illusia, I'll still do what I must. Give report is a little farther north. I suggest sailing there. Understood. It's near the castle and the cathedral, so we should be able to gather intel there. I will inform the others of our destination.
Marth, Selica, Micaiah, Roy. We've returned without you, but we'll get you back this time. Just hang on. Illusia. A return then to the land where we were separated from our fellow emblems. If reunited, we can at last grant the power we offer once every thousand years. We should discuss our other option. That is, the far greater power only we know about. Yes, of course. The miracle. We could use that power at long last. I would suggest Lumera. I don't like this idea. We shouldn't perform the miracle. We have to think of the future. I agree. The whole future. We can't favor anyone with it now. Favor someone? We're talking about Lumera. We can prevent a tragedy. Please. Those of us who were scattered in other lands are still learning all that's happened. Some of us were at her castle. Some were not. It's natural to see things differently. So, we are not all in agreement. At least at present. Using our power every thousand years is one thing. The miracle. We've never used it before. Never in all of existence. The cost of doing so is not small. Perhaps we should never, ever use it. <sighs> of course, we are not all here. What might the others think? What might they decide? this wrong. What are you thinking about, Anna? Oh, that's Lady Anna to you. But to answer your question, I'm brainstorming new products. More stuff to sell, huh? Yep. You know what Sweetheart's Day is? I think I've heard of it. It's where couples give each other gifts, right? That's the one. Usually people just give each other flowers, but the same old gift every year loses its luster. So, I'm out to market something mind-blowing that'll bring the spark back to Sweetheart's Day. Wow, that's a pretty lofty goal. Oh, quit treating me like a kid and help me out here, Divine One. Nothing I've come up with so far has grabbed me, so I could use someone else's input. Hmm, let's see here. Something new for Sweetheart's Day. How about necklaces? <laughs> You have your finger on the pulse of the average Sweetheart's Day participant. Necklaces are almost as played out as flowers. They're hardly going to blow anyone's mind. <sighs> I see. Customers don't want something they can get anywhere. They want something one of a kind. <sighs> the constant need to come up with goods like that is what makes my line of work so tricky. Got it. I'll keep thinking. We'll come up with something good eventually. Amber, may I ask you a few personal questions? I need some new material for my next novel. Oh, you're gonna write a book about me? Oh man, I love that! Fire away! I'll start with an easy one. What's your all-time favorite thing? <laughs> Is that a serious question? Come on, alpacas all the way. They're the best. I used to herd alpacas all the time back home. I'm like an alpaca wrangling master, you know? Alpaca wrangling master. Amazing. I'm serious. If there was an alpaca here right now, I'd give you a demonstration. But we're miles away from the nearest alpaca farm, so... Wait. What is that sound? <gasps> That's the sound of an alpaca at full gallop! Oh! You're right! I can see it now! And it's coming this way! Okay, Jade. You wanted material? You're gonna get it. Watch the Wrangling Master in action. Hey! Alpaca! Slow it down, buddy. Whoa there! I said settle down! Ah! Ah! Amber! Ugh. Getting knocked into a pond wasn't what I wanted to show you. 
I can't believe an alpaca came out of nowhere like that. I'm just glad we were able to catch it. You mean you caught it? All I managed to catch was a mouthful of scummy water. I can't even compete with you at something I'm genuinely good at. <laughs> Amber, don't despair. There is a silver lining. The alpaca, the pond, your flailing. Thanks to you, my next book is sure to be hilarious. Thank you. 